Alright, so this video is going to be about vector midpoints, but before I get to the vector midpoint, we probably just need to talk about uh, position vectors first of all. Uh, now, we're going to be working in two dimensions here. Here's my Cartesian plane. Uh, this is the origin, which we call O. Now, if I create uh, a point here, let's call it point A, um, the vector from the origin to point A is called a position vector. Now, this particular position vector, OA, I can just write it as OA with an arrow. Um, now, I'll just, for the ease of writing things, I'm just going to call it vector U for now. Um, okay, so let's talk about another point. I'll call this one point B. And obviously, I can create another position vector from O to B. Oh, and that's OB arrow, and for the ease of talking about things, I'm going to call that vector v. So I have vector u and vector v, and what I'm going to try to find is vector from the origin to m. So there's the situation, I'm trying to find this blue vector here, om, which conveniently I'm going to call w. Alright, so how are we going to find om, how are we going to find the vector om? Well, Let's look at something else that we can do. Um, we can do vector, that should pass through the middle there. We could find AB. Now, how do we find AB? Um, well, we need to like somehow add U and V together to make A. And now, it's tempting here to just add that vector to that vector, but because that sort of closes up our triangle. Uh, but you can see that there's an arrow here and an arrow here. And that's not how you add vectors. You have to add the tip to the tail. So to find vector AB, which is the one I'm trying to find, I have to flip the first vector. So if I'm trying to find vector A, I have to flip OA, which becomes AO. And then I just add in that vector as it currently is, OB. Just to see what that looks like graphically, AO is moving in that direction. And then if I add OB to it, I get uh, this picture here. And if I add those two vectors together, I get this thing, which is what I'm looking for, AB. So to add two position vectors, uh, the first one, flip it, so it's no longer OA, it's AO, multiply it by negative 1 and then add OB to it. All right, that's only our first step. Now I've got this blue line. What am I going to do with it? Um, I'll just get rid of this. So I started this whole thing trying to find this um, blue vector. Now, to find the blue vector, let's see what I've got to do. I've got to do OA, and then I've got to add half of AB. All right, so... AM is going to be half of AB. So let's go, um, so OM is going to be equal to OA plus half of um, AB, the thing we just found. All right, so that's a pretty decent way. If you can do that, and then you can do that, you've essentially found uh, the midpoint. But we can sort of speed this up a little bit uh, by sort of folding this formula into that formula. So we can say that OM, the midpoint position vector between two other position vectors, is equal to OA plus half of AO plus OB. So that, that's... That's just subbing in this formula into AB there. Okay, um, now I'm going to get rid of all the OAs and OBs and things like that. And I'm going to think in terms of U and V and W, I guess. Um, so we'll just use, I won't use W for the OM. I'll still use the midpoint there. So OA, U, which was that line there, plus half of AO, so AO, which is uh, negative U, 
to u, uh, plus OB, uh, which is V. Okay, U plus, and then I can use my distributive law, U plus half U, uh, or minus half U plus V, which is uh, U minus half U plus half V, uh, which is the same as one half of V minus one half of U, which gives us this really nice formula, half V minus U. Okay, so if you want to find the midpoint formula, the midpoint vector, which is this blue line that uh, cuts two other vectors, it's just half of um, one vector subtracted from the other. Now it actually doesn't matter which vector comes first there, uh, v minus u or u minus v, um, because we're just looking here, so it's not it's not dependent on whether this green line or this yellow line here is facing that way or facing that way. So if you want to know the midpoint vector, half of the other position vectors around it. And I think that's it. Make sure you've got this formula for your vector midpoint done.